The 2015 to 2018 Indian Chief Classic. The base model cruiser in the Indian motorcycle lineup, the Chief Classic carries the vintage badging and iconic lighted war bonnet that is still the hallmark of the brand even through the fits, starts and financial turmoil of various owners during the post-World War II years, right up to the turn of the century. Since Polaris acquired it in 2011, Indian has become its top-selling motorcycle brand. Carried forward for 2018 and powered by the Thunderstroke 111 engine, the Chief Classic has the styling and balanced fenders that identify it as classic Indian with rider amenities and features such as abs, cruise control, keyless starting, electronic fuel injection and a manually adjustable single shock swing arm. Continue reading for my review of the Indian Chief Classic. Design Responsive throttle and a smooth, quick responding clutch with very good low speed stability. For a cruiser, I expect it to have a low seat height and the Chief Classic doesn't disappoint. At 26 inches, even I can reach the ground with inseam to spare. The swept back bars and forward foot controls create an easy cruising windsock riding position and the Chief Classic has a soft, responsive throttle and a smooth, quick responding clutch with very good low speed stability. At least that's how it feels to me. The keyless ignition relieves me of fumbling with the key. I can start the bike with the key fob in my pocket or use a code I pre-programmed in the ignition system. The center console instrument cluster includes an analog tack and speedometer along with a digital multi-function display for all the usual warning and indicator lamps as well as rider information displays. The instruments are easy to read, but with a full face helmet, you might find you have to bob your head to see them. Bling is the thing on the Chief Classic. The folks at Indian chromed everything that could be chromed. For comfort on the road, add a quick-release low windshield to control wind buffeting. You can install and remove the windshield without tools. Chassis Indian pays tribute to the classic styling by keeping the elegant sweep of the balanced fenders along with the iconic tank emblems and front fender figurehead. Indian pays tribute to the classic styling by keeping the elegant sweep of the balanced fenders, a hallmark of the brand since 1940, along with the iconic tank emblems and front fender figurehead. Large 46mm forks carry the front end on 4.7 inches of travel, and the single rear adjustable pneumatic shock affords 3.7 inches of travel, which is fine for a cruiser. Dual four-piston calipers in the front and a twin-piston caliper on the rear are hidden behind painted to match brake covers that blend right in with the fenders. With 300mm discs all the way around and abs, you have ample stopping power. All this rolls on 16-inch, 60-spoke laced wheels and Dunlop American Elite tires. Drivetrain the Thunderstroke 111 is the first clean sheet, proprietary Indian motorcycle engine in over 70 years. The triple cam, V-twin Thunderstroke 111 engine is the powerhouse here, breathing through a 54mm throttle body to put out an awesome 119 pound-feet of torque. To keep the nice parallel look of the pushrod tubes, three cams operate the four pushrod valve train. Conceived and developed by Polaris Industries, this is the engine that is honoring our past and powering our future, says Indian. It's the first clean sheet, proprietary Indian motorcycle engine in over 70 years. With a true dual exhaust, the acoustically engineered system delivers the low rumble of the V-twin by eliminating high pitch sound. If that isn't enough for you, add a stage 1 slip on exhaust to accentuate the sexy exhaust note and add a pair of fishtail exhaust tips. When that rich, throaty exhaust draws attention, it should look as good as it sounds. The six-speed transmission has a positive neutral find, which is always a good thing. With the sixth gear overdrive, cruising is seemingly effortless doing 45 miles per hour at 1,700 revolutions per minute and a whole lot of low to mid-range torque. Pricing MSRP is quite a bit more than last year's price and only available in Burgundy Metallic for 2018. MSRP on the 2018 Chief Classic is $19,499 and it's only available in Burgundy Metallic. Indian covers your Chief Classic with a two-year limited warranty as long as you register with Indian at the time of purchase. If you don't register, you'll be sol on any warranty work later. Competitors
I've always been a fan of the heritage, but this chief really has a nice look about it, and is classic Indian all the way. This Thunderstroke 111 engine made me do a double take on these Indian bikes. It's got mad torque that comes on so early, which is one thing I always liked about Harleys. In comparing it to, say, the Heritage Classic from Harley's newly revamped Softail lineup, the Chief Classic falls in the middle of Harley's paint range that runs from $18,999 in vivid black and $19,749 in one of the two-tone options. Both manufacturers have their own history to draw upon, and it shows in the overall designs. The Heritage runs on the rigid-looking softtail frame, and displays a somewhat chunky appearance with the abrupt elevation changes along the top lines. Indian, on the other hand, blessed the Chief Classic with a grace and flow that seems a bit sleeker, plus the full fender's front and rear lend a certain visual weight to the lower lines. Personally, I've always been a fan of the Heritage, but this Chief really has a nice look about it, and is classic Indian all the way. Both enjoy chrome shrouding around the headlamp nacelle, but I have to question Indian's decision to run on mag wheels, laced wheels with chrome spokes would look fabulous. Both rides look great set up for a solo rider, but I doubt the Chief looks as good under pillion, bags and windshield as the Heritage, so if you plan on doing some light touring, weekend trips, the Heritage will get you there in its stock condition. However, if you just plan on prowling the urban jungle and cruising the boulevard, the Chief Classic will certainly fill the bill, and turn heads doing it. He said. My husband and fellow rider, TJ Hinton, says, much the same as the Chieftain, this bike definitely shows its roots. Indian history is readily apparent at a glance and I really like the nostalgic look of the bike. I'd like to say it really takes me back, but who am I kidding, I wasn't alive in the 1940s. Indian gets bonus points for going with the gangster white wall tires. She said. I can't deny that the Chief Classic is a nice looking bike and as a cruiser, it's an awesome performer. I have to admit, though, that I prefer the gorgeous desert tan leather on the Chief Vintage. I really like that Thunderstroke 111 engine. Performance is just stellar. Specifications. References. See our review of the Harley Davidson Heritage Classic. If you liked this video, please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.